Art, as mentioned, is a tangible output of creative expression. It is a product of human creativity and skill to express oneself. It is represented through with different art forms and disciplines such as literature, culinary arts, media arts, visual arts, and performing arts. So in this lesson, we will be concentrating on the various contemporary visual and performing arts. The first one is visual art. Visual arts is a term used to describe a wide array of artistic disciplines that are appreciated primarily through sound. Visual arts include the different art forms and disciplines such as fine arts, decorative arts, and contemporary arts. Fine arts are the artworks we readily associate with art. The term fine arts was first used to describe the art forms created primarily for their appearance rather than their practical use. As time passed, this term was used to include artworks that came about from emerging technology and artistic innovations. So the following are the most common examples of fine arts. We have drawing, painting, sculpture, print, graphic art, calligraphy, architecture. Most contemporary visual artists in the Philippines produce works that fall into fine arts category. The majority of the contemporary art produced in the Philippines are paintings, sculptures, and drawings. Paintings may be defined as a two-dimensional form of art which showcases artistic expression created on a flat surface. Images are made by applying pigment on a preferred surface using typically one or combination of the following tools like brush, a palette knife, spray paper, and etc. There are also a number of media used for painting and audio two-dimensional work. This include oil, acrylic, watercolor, poster color, pastel, ink, and etc. These media are applied on the surface such as canvas, paper, wood, and cardboard. Contemporary paintings found in the Philippines range from the academic style. The, art the artistic style is sponsored by the Iberian Art Ac Academies of 1800s that promoted the depiction of idealist and classical beauty. To that of stark realism and abstraction of many modern ways in contemporary styles. So the theme views are also varied. The common thematic categories in visual arts are religious, historical, portraitures, light landscapes, nudes, and genres. Let's talk about first religious themes. When we say religious themes, they were the primary subject for the artworks during the Spanish colonial times. In the present, Many religious theme paintings can be seen in the murals of many churches and in paintings with social commentaries like that of Joey Velasco and Renato Habula. Other than Joey Velasco's Hapagna Asa, many of these paintings depict the Jesus Christ in the present day. In addition, Renato Habula's Busetto Paint and Ink series shows the similarities of suffering of human condition with that of the Passion of Christ through the use of Christian iconography. The second theme is the historical theme. Historical themes can be seen in the works of a modernism native Carlos Bottom de Francisco, whose masterpiece, Filipino Struggles Through History, depicts many less historical events. This mural is displayed in Manila City Hall and others um, and other of his historical theme works are Black Compact First Mass at Lima South. 
Next is portraiture paintings. These are used to commemorate personalities and are seen in many formal institutions such as government offices. It started with the rise of the illustrados during the Spanish colonial times. It was and has been a symbolism of one's rise to power and of wealth. Many artists started their careers as portraiture artists such as the Ilino-born Antipas de, la de la Talbo and Rafael del Caso, a favorite portraiture artist of the Philippine who was commissioned artist to create the portrait of San Pedro Colonsol in 2000. One of the most ubiquitous portraiture paintings seen in the Philippines are the official portraits or portraitures of Philippine presidents. The, the latest as of writing is the official portrait of President Rodrigo Duterte by Davao artist Daryl de Leon Descalior. Still Life Still Life is a work of art that portrays inanimate objects. It was traditionally composed with a basket or bowl of fruits and flowers and vases on the table. One of the most notable and earliest still life artists was Paz Paterno, who was born in Santa Cruz, Manila in 1867 and died in 1940. More contemporary artists who were notable still life artists were the Filipino Chinese Ankyoko and the Cubis and the Cubis and Kapampangan artist Vicente, Man Vicente Manansala who created still life paintings that feature items and ingredients that one find in a typical Philippine package. Next one is landscapes. So landscapes depict the beauty of the outdoors. It can be that of natural environments such as the countryside and other rural scenery including seascapes that focus on the imagery of bodies of water. Some landscapes highlight the hazard and bustle of cities recent scenes through urban landscapes. Many early Philippine landscapes artists made use of the academic style under the guidance of Fernando Omar Saldo. One such artist was Martin Adoliana, 1940-1988, who, who also became a mentor to generations of Visayan artists and is referred to as the Dean of Cebuano Venus. Later, artists such as this, this Dado M. Lorenzo, 1906-1984, lured away from the realistic scenery depictions to a more modernist take on landscape paintings. Manuel Baldemore of Fayette Laguna transformed his hometown into simple geometric forms and imbibed it with festive fun. While the Ilocano artist Prudential Lamarosa was inspired by the Amborayan creator to create his true landscapes. Nude as a subject of painting in the Philippines was rare before the 20th century, but has since been, but has since but has since been an accepted and popular subject in the Philippine contemporary visual arts. Early contemporary nudes can be seen in the works of Fernando Marsolo and his, and his Lavanderas Municipal paintings. Almost all contemporary artists in one time or another in their career have doubled in nudes including Ben Cabrera in Potitsu, Cesar Legaspi, 1917-1994, the Batangas Abstract Artist, Romulo Olazo, from 1935-2015, and lastly is Vicente Manansala of 1910-1981. Genres are paintings whose themes showcase people doing everyday activities and horrors. Earliest examples of this type in Philippine history is the Baxter Codex 1590, which illustrates the different social classes and the stars of different inhabitants of the country at the time. In the 19th century, 
miniature genre paintings were popular as a souvenir to tourists. Some genre contemporary artists include the Manila-born Mauro Malang Santos, known for his collection of Fiesta inspired paintings. The artist from Nueva Ecija, Mario Parial, is praised for his colorful genre paintings that feature his distinct figurative style. Most contemporary artists do not limit themselves to a particular theme. They will experiment and venture to other subjects to better express themselves. The same can be said to their styles and techniques. Many would go through different styles and techniques through all their careers. Some contemporary artists also try other visual media like sculpture design, etc. The next one is what we call the sculptures. Sculptures are artworks that are three-dimensional. There are two classifications of sculptures that are traditionally divided into two namely the freestanding and breathing. Freestanding sculptures, also known as interval, are sculptures that are raised independently in their given space. It can be often observed from all points of view. While reliefs are sculptures that are raised from the background, depending on the figure's distance from the background, it can also be classified into the base relief and high relief. When we say base reliefs or low reliefs, these are reliefs that are slightly protruding from their background, while high reliefs are reliefs that are prominently raised against their background, giving the sculpture more dimensionality. Sculptures are made by either adding or subtracting materials. Substraction is used in carving, while addition is seen in sculpting techniques like molding, casting, and welding. Contemporary art forms that are related to sculptures like mobiles and three-dimensional light manipulation, such as holograms, are not easily classified between freestanding and reliefs. Hence, they are classified as contemporary art forms. The Philippines has a sculptural tradition dating long before the arrival of first colonizers. We have long been casting metal, molded clay, and carving stone and wood to create various sculptural pieces. These are some examples of pre-colonial sculptural artworks. This include the panelos of the Torogan, the Baranao Royal House, the Sunduk or the Great Markers of the Bajau, and the many interpretations of the Ikulau rice god, the Bumi. Wood carving is found throughout the different regions and communities of the country. It is used to create and decorate items used in one's daily life such as furniture, utensils, shelter, and transport transportation. This artwork has existed through the history of the Philippines and still alive in many cultural hubs in the country, such as in Paeto Laguna and in Belize, Japan. During the Spanish colonization, the most notable sculptural pieces were the Santos, which are sculptural representations of Christ and the Christian saints. Many of these religious iconographies can be seen in Spanish colonial churches in the Philippines. Many of these santos are venerated and grand religious events are centered around them. This is especially true with the Black Nazarene Chapel, the Santa Nina in Cebu, and Our Lady of Peña Francia in Contemporary sculpture in the Philippines can also depict the different themes using paintings and drawings. It can also be classified in two steps, the academic classical and modern. When we say classical style, it follows the aesthetics of the ancient Greeks and Romans as taught by the European art academies. While modern style is often abstracted and is not as particular about the realistic portrayal or representation of figures compared to the classical style. 
Well, during the American colonial period, classical sculptures portrayed prominent people of society and politics. This was led by the Bulacan native Gilbert Valentino, 1890-1976, whose sculpture and masterpieces include the Bonifacio Monument and the Oblation in UP Delimac. Tolentino was a professor at the said university and mentored other classical style sculptures such as Anastasio Taido 1907-1990 and Fräulein Madrinian of 1941-2008. Taido was a Batangueño whose most recognizable work is the memorial at MacArthur Landing Site in Leyte. Fräulein Madrinian was a Paite artist who was a master in the wood carving. He was a great influence to many aspiring artists of Paete, mentioning contemporary sculptors like Luisito Alta, who is famous for his lifelike wooden sculptures, and Mario Dayo, who is known for his Baroque style relief murals. One of Guillermo Tolentino's most well known students was Napoleon Abueva, who is from Tagbilaran, Bohol. He is credited to be the pioneer of modern sculpture in the Philippines and sometimes referred to as the modern as the father of modern sculptures in the Philippines. Abueva's sculptures often gave a feel of playfulness, fluidity, and movement. He has worked with various materials such as stone, metal, and concrete, but still prefers wood, particularly the Malabe and Mar. His masterpiece, Allegorical Harpoon, Malabi 1964, is considered to be one of his best abstract sculptural works. Other contemporary sculptures that show evidences of Agueva's influence are Renato Rocha and Ross Arcelia. Renato Rocha was born in Houston, Spain. He apprenticed under Anastasia Kaido and later with Napoleon Agueva. His works are critically acclaimed, winning a streak of competition in 1960-1965. His style is described as figurative abstraction and like his mentor, he prefers to work with wood. While Ross Arcelia was worked with an array of materials such as wood, jade, aluminum, bronze, and glass. Like his mentor, Arcidi's style is similarly of abstraction and geometric simplification, and he hails from Karamoan Camarines Sur. Many other figurative expressionist cultures emerged in late 1970s, such as Julian Luge, who was born in Elegant City, Lanao del Morte. Lanao del Morte. Her early works were terracotta sculpture portraits and family and friends, which further developed to her trademark expressive depiction of women. Another expressionist contemporary sculpture is from Quezon City artist Agnes Aureliano, who is more on dramatic sculptures of cast and model plaster in synthetic marble. And she calls in scapes focus on the essential meaning of a figure rather than just its surface appearance. Other contemporary sculptures that follow the modernist philosophy include the antique born painter, sculptor, and graphic designer Jerry Navarro Elizalde, whose sculpture work is evocative of indigenous tribal art, making use of wood cats and other found materials. Solomon Safrid, who is well known for his bronze sculptural that make use of molded pieces, giving, the, giving them a rough impression. And for his series of sculptures entitled Tikbala. And Conrado Mercado of Bustos Bulacan, who initially gained fame from his bearded aluminum reliefs and open cage construction. The contemporary sculpture arts mentioned is but a job in the river of talented and unique sculptures the country has to offer. Every day, new talents are emerging and discovered.